Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring generic routing encapsulation, or I'm going to be configuring a GRE tunnel, uh, as it's more commonly referred to as. And I'm going to, uh, to show you guys the basics about GRE and how it can be used uh, effectively. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up some, uh, uh, some routers for the I to mimic the ISP network and then I'm going to have my um, then I'm going to have my uh, routers uh, my two customer routers here at the ends of the uh, GRE tunnel okay so what we're going to use here is router 1 we'll give it a uh, Loopback address of uh, let's see here one dot one dot one dot one slash twenty four and then we'll have on the other end of the GRE tunnel uh, two dot two dot two dot two slash twenty four for router two and then in the middle here we will have our our ISP routers. Let me go ahead and rename these guys here. This one's going to be ISP1 and ISP number two. And this should be a pretty easy lab to configure. Uh, all we're going to do is Go ahead here and create our links. Uh, we'll go ahead and create between router one and the ISP a fast. We'll go ahead and just create the links between the ISP and the customers. We'll make those fast Ethernet, and then we'll just make a serial connection between the ISP routers. Okay, so. Next, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and do our, you know, our addressing. So from customer one to ISP one, we'll just give us a uh, an IP address of oh, let's see, let's just do two hundred network. 200.1.1.0 slash 30 on this side. And over here on the other side, we'll do 200.1.1, or we'll do 200.1.2.0 slash 30. And in between the ISPs, we'll just go ahead and give ourselves the IP of two hundred dot eleven dot twenty two dot zero. Okay, so we've got our generic. Um, We have all of our, you know, IP addressing assigned. So now all we need to do is go ahead and what we're gonna, sh what I'm gonna show you with GRE, with the GRE tunnel is we're going to tunnel uh, router one's loopback and router two's loopback. We're going to, uh, we're gonna put both of those into OSPF, and we're going to, or we'll do EIGRP. We'll put both of those in, say they're, you know, on the same, uh, part of the same, you know, company. We'll put them in the same network. And then uh, we're going to basically uh, route between our networks over, you know, our ISP network without them even seeing any of the routes to our, you know, our one network or our two network. And that's what you know. Uh, GRE tunnels are used for, basically, to, to tunnel over 
you know, uh, networks that <clears throat> pretty much we don't want them to see, you know, what we're doing on our backside networks. And we don't want them to partake in, you know, our routing. So it just looks pretty much, uh, you know, they don't see it at all. And that's what I'm going to show you guys uh, here in one second. So just give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and start the routers. And then we'll go ahead and start configuring uh, the routing protocols and the GRE tunnel. And then that'll be it. Okay. Uh, all the routers have now been loaded. And I just went through and just changed all the host names on the routers. That's pretty much the only thing that I did. Uh, so if we go back to the diagram, just to show you, we got router 1 uh, with our loopback and our link out to the ISP. Then we have uh, another ISP, well, the same ISP. Uh, that's just the router number two for that ISP and then we over here we have uh, router two you know uh, for our company which they have the two network so I forgot to put on here we'll be using here loopback zero as well and we'll do that on router one as well so we'll be using both the loopbacks of the routers to simulate our back-end customer networks. Okay, so we'll go into router one. We'll go ahead and uh, configure our loopback zero interface. 1.1.1.1, give it a subnet mask slash 24. And then we'll go uh, to our fast ethernet and we'll specify the IP address which is, uh, let's see, 200.1.1. Uh, we'll give it the dot one out of that slash 30. And we'll do a no shut. Let me go back into GNS3 here real fast. I'll just put in the IPs so we know uh, who's got what IP here. Okay, so that's the you know all the IPs that we have on our our links. So now we'll go back into GNS3. So now that I have I have uh, you know if I do a show IP interface brief, you can see that I have um, you know router one configured. I have the loopback, and I have my fast Ethernet out to the ISP configured. So what I'm going to do now is go into um, I'll go to the other. Uh, company router basically my other company you know edge router here is router 2 I'll go ahead and uh, configure the loopback to 0 the IP address of 1. Dot, I'm sorry 2.2.2.2 with a slash 24 mask then I'll go to my fast ethernet and I'll configure my IP of uh, yeah what was that let's see 200.1.2.0 201.2.0. I'm sorry, 2.2. And I think that's a slash 30 on there. Yeah, okay. 